Hey guys, it is Kat again, back again with another YouTube video. It's been literally a hot minute, probably like two, three years since I've uploaded something, but I feel like, I don't know, I want to get back into making videos again, so we'll see how this goes, but I'm testing out some new stuff, especially Salty since the Windows Movie Maker was discontinued in like 2018 or something like that. So I'm using a different video editor, but I don't know if I like it. I'm not particularly familiar with it. But yeah, that's just some long random intro spiel. spiel. But yeah, let's get into the video. So like, judging by the title, you guys can probably already tell the direction that I am going to head with this. But I want to touch base on the topic of copying in art because it's seen as a very taboo topic. A lot of people say that copying in art is bad and that how you shouldn't copy art and when I'm saying this, I'm referring to the specific action of copying specifically another artist's art. I don't mean copying from, let's say, a photograph or a reference picture or something like that. That's an entirely different concept revolving around using reference pictures that also has some sort of controversy around it. That's a different topic. But yeah copying it's just by looking at pictures of art other people's drawings yada yada and copying directly what you see and a lot of people that i know say that they can't draw that they can only copy and they copy the exact drawing they see with the same expression and pose and in my opinion i say that this is okay and <laughs> before I start the quote-unquote revival of my YouTube channel with this controversial topic. Please don't blame me. At least listen to the reasoning that I have before this. But it's very true that you should not copy another artist's work. And oh wow, here I am backtracking on this. But my terms on copying is a little different. I think it's okay to copy other people's artwork as a learning method. For example, copying another artist's art to try to learn that specific art style. Like, I'm going to use my old friend's father as an example. This one girl that I knew growing up, her father was a hobby artist slash like semi-professional artist in his in, as one of his career, something along the lines of that. And I clearly remember talking to him about paintings. And he had this really, really pretty illustration painting that he had hanging in his wall. And it was a, it was a famous painting. You know, I thought it was some sort of just like print copy that he purchased possibly from a museum or something like that and that he just framed and hung it up on his wall. But no, instead, he actually painted it himself looking at the original painting as a reference. And when he was talking about doing this, he said that copying the original artist's artwork actually taught him a lot about how to create art. It taught him how to use brush, brush strokes, how to vary the weight of brush strokes, color selections, etc. There's a lot of things that go into art that you don't initially realize to get a certain stylistic aspect of it. Like, this is going much more- I personally also don't have a, like, art background. I did not go to an art school or anything like that. This is just stuff that I've learned by doing it on my own. But for someone like him who actually had that type of background, he said that Referring to these traditional artists' work, for example, like leaders in Impressionism or like, you know, other types of, like modern art, for example, other types of 
art styles, copying the artist's work taught him how to draw in that style. Now, the same thing I feel like could also apply to digital art. There's a lot of different styles of digital art, going from, for example, like 2D flat watercolor washes to the very traditional like manga art style with the thick lines to cartoon art, anime, and even within those types of art, like for example, within anime, different animes have different art styles, even though it's still overarching like an anime style, right? Again, this falls under digital art. And again, same goes for like portrait illustration. There's different types of styles to go illustrate people's portraits with some very brushwork heavy and others being a much more smoother finish, heavily relying on the blending tool. And so by copying another artist's work, it's a very good way to go practice styles that you really like. Now, by saying copying their work, I mean copying it for practice. In no way am I saying draw the artist's work and claim it as your own. I think that is very bad. It is def it's not crediting the artist. It's not your original work. You did not create the piece, nor did you like come up with the style for the piece. And so therefore, calling the art your own is absolutely wrong, and it's something that you should not do. If you were to copy an artist's work for practice purposes, no one else should see it. It should be something for your eyes, for your eyes only. It's for your practice, for your work. And after you're done practicing it, you should not show it off, should not claim it as your own. And you should leave it as just that. It is just for practice and that's it. Also practice or copying other art is a good way to learn poses. Now, you definitely should go learn poses by drawing from real life references. That's the best way in my opinion. But if you can't get a real life reference, using photographs is a very good way as well. There's a lot of resources online to go find these types of things legally and for free. And if you did not take it, if you did not source it from some sort of like open source photograph website like Shutterstock or for something, you better credit with the poses that you got as well if someone created those. But in terms of, again, stylistic art, like for example, anime, some poses have a very stylistic look to them. And that style can also be picked up for drawing poses from copying other work. But again, when in doing such things, you should never call the art your own and you should never claim it as your own. And again, I personally have done some sort of that these types of things as well for example one of my largest inspirations for drawing portraits is an instagram artist called taozapai i think that's how you pronounce it but yeah she's a really great instagram artist i will link her below if i remember god knows i literally don't remember anything my memory is so bad but yeah i really like the style of her art and so especially her eyes and so i would go and look at the eyes for her image and try to replicate it on my own and this is again like drawing exclusively only the eye nothing else about it i did not try to copy an entire image that she drew for instance but i would try to copy the style of her eye and see how she got it and i learned a lot of valuable techniques from doing that from looking at how she drew her eyes and also she posted tutorials about this as well on her instagram which i find very helpful God bless artists who create great work, but also take the time to go create tutorials on how to draw something similar in their style as well. But yeah, by looking at how she drew her eyes, I learned a great deal about how when you're first coloring and drawing eyes, you don't color in the whites actually white, how they're a much darker color than a, like a very paper white. But from initial glancing, you might not realize that if you were to just look at the painting but trying to paint it yourself, it becomes extremely apparent the gap between your own like technical skill versus or like what you think should be done to go create that look versus what actually needs to be done to create that look. But yeah, this is just my take on copying. I think copying art is okay if it's done for a learning purpose. And again, I'm just saying that you should absolutely never 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 
copy down another artist's art, draw it in an extremely similar style, and then claim it as your own. If you were to try to do that, I say the it's okay if you draw and you say, hey, I tried recreating the insert like this artist's work, go check them out or something. But make it very clear it should be in the first line and very apparent that you are crediting the artist. It's very important to give artists credit because God knows at this point, so many people take art, steal it, and claim it as their own. And I think that is absolutely terrible. But yeah. Peace out. <laughs>